Smoke was seen rising across the Beirut skyline as explosion shook the city on Saturday. Since late September, Israel has dramatically escalated its bombardment of Lebanon, vowing to cripple Hezbollah and end its barrages in Israel. More than 3,400 people have been killed in Lebanon by Israeli fire 80% of them in the eight weeks according to Lebanon's health ministry. Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel the day after Hamas surprise attack into Israel on October 7, 2023 ignited the war in Gaza. Hezbollah and Hamas are both allied with Iran. For nearly a year, the conflict was mostly contained to the areas along the border between Israel and Lebanon. The conflict dramatically escalated on September 23 with intense Israeli airstrikes on south and east Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs, leaving hundreds dead and leading to the displacement of nearly 1.2 million people. Israel began a ground invasion of south Lebanon on October 1, causing wide destruction in border villages.
A top Iranian official pledged his country's unwavering support for Lebanon after talks Friday with Lebanese leaders on the ongoing war between Israel and Hezbollah, which came as the United States continued actively pushing both sides to agree to a new ceasefire deal. Ali Larijani, an advisor to Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, said he hoped circumstances would soon improve in Lebanon so that displaced people could return home. The main aim of our visit is to loudly say that we will stand by Lebanon's government and people, Larijani told reporters after separate meetings with Parliament Speaker Nabi Berry and caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikadi. The U.S. has been trying to broker an end to the fighting between Israel and Hezbollah, which came as the 13-month war with Hamas broadened in September into southern and eastern Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs. Both Hezbollah and Hamas are backed by Iran, and Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel the day after Hamas' surprise attack into Israel on October 7, 2023 ignited the war in Gaza. According to reports in Lebanese media, U.S. Ambassador Lisa Johnson has handed over a draft of a proposed deal to end the Israel-Hezbollah war to Parliament Speaker Navy Berry, who has been leading the talks representing Hezbollah. A Lebanese official confirmed Friday that Johnson visited Berry but refused to say whether a draft was handed over. Another Lebanese official confirmed that Beirut has received a copy of a draft proposal that the U.S. sees as suitable to end the Israel-Hezbollah war based on UN Security Council Resolution 1701 that ended the war in summer 2006 between Israel and Hezbollah. The official did not give details other than to say Israel was insisting that some guarantees be included. Both spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak to the media about the ongoing talks. The U.S. Embassy refused to either confirm or deny the reports. Larijani flew in Friday from neighboring Syria where he held similar talks a day earlier with President Bashar Assad. Syria's state news agency said Assad and Larijani discussed the ongoing aggression on Palestine and Lebanon and the necessity of stopping it. In addition to supporting Hamas, Iran is a main backer of Hezbollah and for decades has been funding and arming the Lebanese militant group.